All right. It's time to go big or go home. Unless I need a power nap in the middle, this is gonna be the final session of Metroid Prime 2 during Fragapalooza. Either I manage to beat it here, or I don't. It is currently 3.24 in the morning on the 11th of August, 2024. Fragapalooza goes until 2 p.m. is the plan here. Dolphin will come up here in a hot second. There we go. There it is. So, there's less than 11 hours left. There's like 10 and a half hours left. I'm a little bit tired. I can stay up. I'm not like super sleepy per se. I've now played all of the games that I wanted to play at Fragapalooza. At least a little bit. So now I have the rest of this time. Plus potential one hour, hour and a half power nap in the middle if I do need to recharge. To try and beat Metroid Prime 2. I'm sure I can as long as sleepiness doesn't destroy me. Maybe. I don't actually know how much I have left to the game, but I want to beat this game start to finish at Fragapalooza, and I'm gonna give it my best shot to do it. I have been streaming now for- this stream is 14 hours 45 minutes, but, like, the stream had to end and come back up brief- like, briefly because the whole picture-in-picture -picture thing or Bob was set up there. So add another two and a half hours on top of that. So let's round that up to, like, 15 hours. So I've been streaming for 17 and a half hours here. So, I mean, I've been going for a while. But I am adept at doing that, considering I've done 11 now, 24 hour streams on the channel. So I can do it. Maybe. We'll see here. And I could potentially showcase the multiplayer here, because this would be like my one place that I could showcase the multiplayer. Like, I'm never going to be able to do that while I'm back at home. There go of the game that Rise is playing right now. Let's see here. Oh, my cord is getting wrapped around my shoe. That's not what I want. Let's see here. Let's ask him if he wants to play some Metroid Prime. Warning, there's nothing to undo. I don't know what I just hit by accident. All right, let's ask him if he wants to play some Prime 2 multiplayer in a little bit here. Um, Go into the single player for now, but it would be cool to be able to showcase the multiplayer during the playthrough. That would be kind of neat. I mean, 4.55 elapsed. There's no way I only have like 4 hours 55 minutes in this game. After everything I've done. There's no shot, right? I refuse to believe it. I mean, I've had to reload saves a bunch of times, but even still, like what? Where the heck am I going? What am I doing again? Okay, so I did this. I was gonna go get the grapple beam. And I don't know how to do that. I think it was like, there's something in the Torvis Bog Dark World that I was reading that I could do now. Something like that. Now that I have this upgrade, but I don't know where. It would have to be to get the grapple beam because I know I need the grapple beam for the next upgrade. So I'm just gonna look back at the finger, Bob. So hold on. So what page am I on right now? I'm on the page for, yeah, for Grapple Beam. So Torvus Bog, Train Chamber, Transit Tunnel East. Pass through the vertical pipe. You notice the bomb slot at the top. You can't reach it before, but with gravity boost, you can double jump to reach it. Transit Tunnel East. Is that the room I'm looking for? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah? What, sorry? I think up to four. Not sure. Let's see here. In which case, I can just like... I'll figure out how to progress here in a hot second, in that case, and then restart this. Because I wouldn't mind trying a little bit of the multiplayer of this game, just to try it. And this is going to be, like, the only place that I have the opportunity to try it. So it's like, 
I kind of want to give it a go. I wouldn't mind here. I think. But it is a GameCube game. It uses GameCube controllers. Okay, so you want an orange one? You want a purple one? But, let's see here. Purple. Ah, but, this game came out in 2004, and that's before it became standard in shooters for left stick movement and right stick aim. So, left stick is both movement and aim, so it kind of feels like it's on hands. So, when you're used to modern things, it is a little bit weird and different. It is worth noting. But I do kind of want to try out the multiplayer. Alright. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like it's realized that there's three people in it. So yeah, you have move around with the left stick. A is your regular shot, and B is missile. And I don't actually know how the multiplayer works. Let's start for a three-player game. Match? Serve? Uh, oh, I think someone's controlling a thing. I don't know if any of these matters. Are these... Here it's fear. I think this is just the background music. I put my headphones there. Kill limit? Time limit? I just want to try with the multiplayer's like, so I mean... Arena select? There's arenas I haven't unlocked, apparently. Where are we going? Uh, this one. That's what I'm selected on. Sure. Let's try it out. Yeah, I've just been playing a whole bunch of Metroid Prime 2 at Frag here, and I just... Want to see what the multiplayer is like. Oh. Doing some more of Chain Together. Defeat other players to win. Okay. Oh, th this looks like the starting area from the first game. Oh. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> okay. So. And you're going to hold the A button to, like, charge up a charge shot. Ace. And then A to release it. Yeah, this looks like friggin' Orphea from the first game. Who's this? Who's this I'm shooting? Oh, and ZL here, or L is the lock-on button. I should mention. Okay. Oh, big dudes. And you can press X to go into a morph ball if you want. Oh, I'm going over here now. I guess that's a way to dip out. Can I go back? Oh, there you are. Oh, we're all here now, I think. And B is the jump button. Oh, you got missiles, I think. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. So launch it now, we it. No! I'll mash harder! No! Oh. Oh, am I behind you? Oh, I sure am. gone. Phew. Ah. Oh, they're missing me at least. Can I get missiles over here? Okay, but that lock on. What you happen? You can break free. Like frozen? And then if you get missiles, why is the I'm missile button? Missile. Missile. Oh. This. Is that the ball? I am sorry. Is, is your morph ball just like lethal now? Oh yeah, when you're in morph ball. Oh, there you are. When you're in morph ball, you can hold B and then release it to like to go faster. Oh no! <laughs> I'm outie. I'm taking this thing. See ya. I'm here now. Oh, oh this is me. Oh hi. This. Where? What? But yeah, so this was a Nintendo GameCube game that released in 2004. I remember hearing that the multiplayer was really good. And yeah, to think that this came out 20 years ago, it's like, yeah, it's a cool game, some enjoyment out of it. I, I, it kind of melts. <laughs> yeah, I still love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is now light beam. I guess I can damage that away. I see you rolling around back and forth there. Get out of here. Or rolling for you. Is this something you dropped? 
I don't know why I just talk. I don't know where people are. Can I grab this thing? I don't know where people are. I gotta search again. Oh! And someone shoot me from behind! <laughs> Missile! You. Oh, everyone's here now! You're on fire, kind of. Zigzag! I missed. Kill RJ and then dip is my plan. There. I'm outie. Wee. <laughs> so yeah, and then if you want to take that X is the football button. Then you go into the ball. Oh, you can do free aim by holding the right trigger and then you got half flight controls, but then you can't move. Because this was back when people still thought it was weird to uh, do the two separate move and aiming. Super missiles. I couldn't that up. That took a lot of damage. A lot of damage. That looked kind of like. Oh. So yeah, I believe there was at least one, maybe a couple games at this point, that uh, that did have the move with left stick, aim with right stick. I think it was an alien game, what it was, on the PlayStation 1, and people's complaint with it was that it was too hard to learn the controls because you moved from the left stick and aimed from the right stick. Nowadays, it's pretty standard. Like, snipe all the way across the thing. <laughs> I see stuff going on over there, so like... I'll snipe you. to jump, you can also use it to strafe left and right when you're locked on. So if you're locked on and, whoa, you can be left and right, you kind of strafe. And, oh, I thought I jumped off for a second. I thought I did. Like, left and right is the... Whoa. Grab the health thing. Where? Can't... Oh my goodness, I can't see. Lock on. <laughs> Get in your face. No, I'm gonna die. I'm dipping. Oh, Wait, I killed you? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Well, the more you know, I guess, here. Whoops. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I guess those are the points in the middle. For, like, how many kills. Oh, I don't have any misses in Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> One killer mate. Oh, so it's like first to ten, I guess. Okay. I gotcha. This vulnerability acquired. <laughs> Get over here. Oh my goodness, even if I'm invulnerable, it's still against me. Okay, missiles. Can't quite grab that. Oh, that's the light beam. Okay. What on here? Okay. You and you. Pillar cover. Oh yeah, and more fall bombs. Pillar. Oh my goodness, everyone is here. It's just like special events. I'm dead. Respawned in the same room, really? You <laughs> shot to the back. Right in your face. <laughs> Nuclear waste. <laughs> One. I died the second most, though, so. <laughs> that was the case. Alright, well. Interesting. It's very different. Yeah. But, but 20 years ago, this was apparently like. <laughs> Long before time. Way before your time. Appreciate you guys playing with me though, just see what it's like. <laughs> I just wanted to experience playing that. 
here. Alright, I gotta figure out what I need to do to progress now. But not gonna lie, that actually is pretty fun. There's cables that are... I need a sword out here. I'm gonna move this back to here. Center this again. Yeah, I can see that being like a really addicting game for people to be playing like locally with friends and stuff like that 20 years ago. Like, even today, if I had like more, uh, more like Metroid fans or something like that to play that with, I totally would, because that would actually be genuinely fun. For those that are used to like a lot more modern shooters, that might be quite fun. An experience, something very different. But I think that's pretty fun, at least. As someone that's now played a whole bunch of Metroid here. I think that's pretty cool. Corvus Bog. I wonder if Metroid Prime is ever going to have multiplayer again. It'd be cool to see something like that in Prime 4. But I don't know if that's happening.